सत श्री अकाल नमस्कार नॉर्थ अमेरिका बुलेटिन चुड़ा सब का स्वागत है मैं हर्षदीप सिंह खबर की शुरुआत कर लेंगे हैडलाइनस के मिसिसागा की मेयर बॉनी क्रॉम्बी ने फैडरल प्रोविंशियल सरकार को लिखा पत्र कहा कमर्शियल रेंट प्रोग्राम की तरह रहायशी रेंट प्रोग्राम भी लिया सरकार ब्रैमटन के मेयर पैट्रिक ब्राउन ने स्टेट ऑफ एमरजेंसी की उलंघना करने वाले अंकड़े कीते पेश ब्रैमटन के कई लोगों जारी होया नोटिस कई विरुद्ध की गई है कार्रवाई प्रधानमंत्री जस्टिन ट्रूडो का ऐलान किया कोविड नाइनटीन महामारी के दौरान एज ए वलंटीयर काम करने वाले विद्यार्थियों की सरकार करेगी मदद एक हज़ार डॉलर तो पां हज़ार डॉलर दी जाएगी सहायता हम जानने खबर विस्तार के नाल मिसिसागा की मेयर बोनी करोंबी ने कहा कि शहर में सिंगल बैडरूम अपार्टमेंट का किराया उन्नीस सौ डॉलर है तो हूँ एक मई आ गई है तो बहुत सारे अजि लोग ने जो किराया नहीं देन मेयर करोंबी ने फैडरल प्रोविंशियल सरकार को पत्र लिखा है कि जिस तरह कमरशियल रेंट प्रोग्राम लिया गया उस तरह रहायशी किराए भी रिलीफ देने वास्ते एक प्रोग्राम लिया जाए तो जो लोगों राहत मिल सके उन्होंने आख्या कि म्यूसीपैलिटीज़ को इन्ना फंड नहीं है कि वह खुद रहायशी अपार्टमेंट्स के लिए किराए से छोट वास्ते कोई प्रोग्राम लिया सकन एंड वाह बोथ द प्रोविंशियल एंड द फेडरल लेवल्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट हैव प्रोवाइडेड एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी रिलीफ टू आवर रेजिडेंट्स देयर इज स्टिल वन मोर एरिया दैट आई थिंक नीड्स इमीडिएट अटेंशन एंड दैट इज रेजिडेंशियल रेंट वाइल द प्रोविंस हैज फॉरबिडन इविक्शंस ड्यूरिंग दिस इमरजेंसी आई फियर दैट वंस दिस इज लिफ्टेड मेनी विल फाइंड देमसेल्व्स विदाउट अ होम द एवरेज रेंट फॉर अ वन बेडरूम अपार्टमेंट इन मिसिसागा इज नाउ ओवर 1900 डॉलर्स month this does not include larger units for families even with employment insurance or the cerb the serb there is much mu- not much rather left f- left remaining for food for utilities and other monthly living expenses $2000 does not go very far in mississauga as it does in the smaller communities outside the gtha In Mississauga we've done what we can by deferring property tax payments for 3 months, waiving late penalties on our utility bills and deferring rents for tenants in our city facilities. We would welcome, we would like you to do more and offer rent relief uh, to residents, but as you know, municipalities do not have the financial tools to do this. Without a safe and secure place to call home, many will struggle to maintain or, or seek employment and will become increasingly vulnerable. My ask is for the province and the federal government to work together to provide interim rent relief as soon as possible. Brampton de Mayor Patrick Brown ne dasse ki shehar vich state of emergency de madde nazar jari kitiyan hidayatan nu lagu karvan layi bylaw officers di team kam kar rahi hai. जिस तहत पताली सौ चौरासी इंस्पैक्शन की गई ने एक सौ पचानवे व्यक्तियों को वार्निंग जारी की गई है और तीह विरुद्ध चार्ज फ्रेम किए गए हैं जिस हाउस पार्टी करने वाल विरुद्ध दो पार्किंग लॉट में गैदरिंग कर खिलाफ और अठ गैर जरूरी बिजनेस अदारे चलाने वाले बिजनेसमैन विरुद्ध ये चार्ज फ्रेम हुए हैं um issued and 30 charges laid so we do take the time to to warn residents that aren't uh, following the physical distancing bylaws that are stressed to be so important from public health as one of our key tools to flatten the curve and let me give you some examples of where we've had to lay charges there was five house parties that resulted in 13 different charges now is not the time to be hosting uh, a party at your house uh, for for friends we need people to be keeping their distance there was two uh, gatherings on, on uh, parking lots uh, just because you can't hold the party at your home it doesn't mean you can hold the party in a parking lot and charges were laid in two instances uh, for social gatherings on parking lots we've had to issue eight charges in the last week for people who continue to use uh, our parks uh, obviously if one family it feels that they can use the park everyone is going to use the the park we've kept the trails open but the parks uh, our playground equipment is not for public use at this point while physical distancing is so important and lastly we've laid eight charges for non-essential businesses that were operating we really need to respect the provincial um list of uh, essential uh, workers uh, and for the businesses that failed to comply there was financial penalties पील रीजन के चीफ मैडिकल अधिकारी डॉक्टर लॉरेंस लो ने दस कि पिछली रिपोर्ट तक तेईस सौ अठवंजा कोविड नाइनटीन के केस रीजन में सामने आ चुके हैं एक सौ तीह मरीज़ हस्पता दाखिल ने दो सौ बयाली की रिकवरी हो चुकी है 
एटी नाइन की मौत हो चुकी है ब्रैमटन सिटी के एक हज़ार तेती कोविड नाइनटीन के केस सामने आए हैं जिस विचों बत्ती मरीज हॉस्पिटल दाखिल ने अठानवे ठीक हो चुके हैं Uh, regarding the COVID-19 pandemic in our community, as of yesterday at noon, uh, we have had 2,358 cumulative confirmed and probable cases of COVID-19 detected in the region. 130 of those cases have required some form of hospitalization. 242 of those cases have recovered, and 89 tragically have passed away. In Brampton, uh, we have seen 1,033 of those cases. 32 of whom have been hospitalized, 98 who have recovered, and 22 have, who have died. Uh, specifically in the region and specific to senior settings, we have seen 426 cases amongst residents in long-term care and retirement homes, and also 40 resident deaths. Uh, in Brampton specifically, that includes 104 cases uh, and nine deaths in long-term care settings. Overall, we continue to see two parallel trends with the COVID-19 pandemic. We continue to detect new cases in the community. However, it appears that spread is slowing. That said, many of our new cases are institutional, arising in congregate settings. We are also starting to see and continue to see severity and volume in the hospitals and our intensive care units in our region. Toronto City Council will be able to child care center with four AMLA members of the family of the coronavirus positive, which was tested in the child care center with four AMLA members of the family of the staff members of the test the report of the health center. Toronto Mayor John Tory has said that the facility has been closed and 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 has been closed. Four uh, workers and one child that have tested positive for COVID-19 at one of our seven emergency child care centers. City staff and Toronto Public Health took immediate action to close this facility once the workers tested positive and they are continuing to investigate why this happened and, and uh, where it happened. When I first heard of this incident, my thoughts immediately turned to the frontline families who will be affected uh, by this and who uh, we created these child care centers to help. This first incident in one of our emergency child care centers is a sad reminder of the dangers of COVID-19 and some of its continuing unknowns. And it's a lesson for us all as we make plans to reopen and try to get back to normal in a safe and healthy way. As part of the investigation, I've asked that we determine exactly what happened here and how we can strengthen the already stringent procedures we have in place to try and keep COVID out of these child care centers. I can assure the families relying on these child care centers and the people of Toronto that the very highest standards were put in place from day one to try to prevent this kind of outbreak, but obviously we have more to learn, as is true of so many aspects of this virus. Toronto the Chief Medical Adhikari has said that the share of the coronavirus has been in the case of the coronavirus. The case of the coronavirus has been in the hospital. ते मौतों की गिनती भी तीन सौ संताली अपड़ गई है उन्होंने दस कि बेघरे लोगों छे महीने लिए इंटरम हाउसिंग मुहैया करवाई जाएगी देर आर फाइव थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी पीपल इनफेक्टिड विद कोविड नाइनटीन इन टोरोंटो दिस इनकलूड्स फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फाइव कन्फर्मड एंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन प्रॉबल केसिस There are 354 people in hospital and 111 in intensive care units. In total, we have lost 347 Torontonians to this virus. As always, I extend deepest condolences to those who have lost loved ones and wish a speedy recovery to those who are sick. I remain concerned about the devastating impact that COVID-19 is having on our community and our most vulnerable residents, in particular, people who are experiencing homelessness. Today, the city's Shelter, Support and Housing Administration announced a new program to provide interim housing for up to six months and other supports for people experiencing homelessness. तो उधर अंटारी और मैडिकल अधिकारी डॉक्टर याफी ने दस है कि प्रोविंस के तीन सौ संताली नवे मामले सामने आए हैं 
ਕੇਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਗਿਣਤੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਵੱਡੀ ਗਿਰਾਵਟ ਦੇਖੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕੁੱਲ ਕੇਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਗਿਣਤੀ 15728 ਹੋ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਬੀਤੇ ਦਿਨ 45 ਮੌਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਸ ਨਾਲ ਮੌਤਾਂ ਦਾ ਕੁੱਲ ਅੰਕੜਾ 996 ਤੇ ਅਪੜ ਗਿਆ ਬੀਤੇ ਦਿਨ 11500 ਟੈਸਟ ਕੀਤੇ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਤੇ 9500 ਕੇਸ ਜਾਂਚ ਅਧੀਨ ਨੇ ਹਸਪੀਟਲਾਂ 'ਚ ਦਾਖਲ ਮਰੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੀ ਗਿਣਤੀ 'ਚ ਮਾਮੂਲੀ ਕਮੀ ਵੀ ਇਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਦਰਜ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸ ਵਿੱਚ 977 ਮਰੀਜ਼ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ 'ਚ ਜ਼ੇਰੇ ਇਲਾਜ ਨੇ as of 4 pm yesterday in the ifas system we have a total of 15728 confirmed cases of covid-19 in ontario this is an increase of 347 cases or 2.3% from the previous report and so that is down from an increase of 525 the the day before and i'm certainly hopeful that this downward trend will continue we have almost 58% of our cases are in females almost 45% are in people 60 years of age and older and 59.2% are people who live in the greater toronto area we do continue to see an increase in the number of ontarians who have recovered from covid-19 at this point 61% or 9612 of our cases are considered resolved but the number of people in intensive care has decreased again today to 235 of those 186 are on ventilators uh to date 996 deaths have been reported which represents an increase of 45 deaths from the previous report ontario sarkar vallo march mahine de vich child care centers band karan da hukum ditta gaya si par hun inna vichon kujh nu frontline worker ate emergency ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਕਰਮਚਾਰੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਸਾਂਭ ਸੰਭਾਲ ਲਈ ਖੋਲਣ ਦਾ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੁਣ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਹੀ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ 100 ਸੈਂਟਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ 37 ਹੋਰ ਨੂੰ ਖੋਲਣ ਦਾ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਸਟੀਫਨ ਲਾਚੇ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇੱਥੇ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਆ ਦਾ ਪੂਰਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ ਰੋਜ਼ਾਨਾ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਖੋਲਣ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਫ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ ਤੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਟਾਫ ਨੂੰ ਚੈੱਕ ਕਰਕੇ ਹੀ ਅੰਦਰ ਜਾਣ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ every day in virtually every way workers on the front lines are making a difference in this province they ensure our shelves are stocked and our families are fed they care for our seniors and provide life saving medicine to those that need it they are our women and men in uniform who courageously serve to protect our people and our country these are canada's heroes in many ways and they deserve all for our full support and i'm proud that ontario will support more frontline workers today by expanding that list of individuals who are eligible to receive emergency child care in this province and the list includes staff in grocery stores and pharmacies those that work in retirement homes ontario truckers the canadian armed forces and those that support canadians who are deaf or hard of hearing while we are expanding those that are eligible we've heightened our strict health and safety protocols for those centers under the consultation of the local medical officer of health This phase expansion is supported by the Chief Medical Officer of Health knowing that we have put in place strict guidelines and protocols and that we have taken a zero tolerance approach when it comes to keeping kids safe. Those guidelines ensure that no site could exceed 50 people, that these centers must be thoroughly cleaned every day before opening, that all staff must be screened before they enter the center, that a plan is in place and supported by the local health authority should an outbreak occur. ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਡਾਕ ਫੋਰਡ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਕੇਸ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਘਟ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਚੰਗਾ ਸਾਈਨ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਖੋਲ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਪਰ ਕਦੋਂ ਇਹ ਹਾਲ ਦੀ ਘੜੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਇਸ ਮੌਕੇ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਫਰੰਟ ਲਾਈਨ ਵਰਕਰਾਂ ਦਾ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਵੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਵੀ ਸਾ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਵੀ ਸਾ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਯੈਸਟਰਡੇ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਹੈਸ ਸੀਨ ਦ ਨੀਡਲ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਸਾਊਥਵਰਡ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਲੋਐਸਟ ਅਮਾਊਂਟ ਆਫ ਕੇਸਸ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਸੀਨ ਓਵਰ the last 3 weeks and this is a positive trend a positive trend to give people hope that we're getting close to opening up i can't give you dates right now but what i can give you is hope that we're getting closer day after day when we see positive trends going down we'll make sure that that's going to be closer to the day we we open up i want to i want to thank you i want to thank the frontline Uh, hard working people of this great province and we're going to continue supporting you god bless the people of ontario pradhan mantri justin trudeau ne kaha hai ki jo vidyarthi is summer vich naukri na milne karan covid-19 virudh ladi ja rahi 
ਲੜਾਈ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਵਲੰਟੀਅਰ ਦੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ 1000 ਤੋਂ 5000 ਡਾਲਰ ਦੀ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾਵੇਗੀ ਇਹ ਰਾਸ਼ੀ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਗ੍ਰਾਂਟ ਫਾਰ ਵਲੰਟੀਅਰ ਔਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾਵੇਗੀ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਮੁਤਾਬਕ ਲੋ ਅਤੇ ਮਿਡਲ ਇਨਕਮ ਦੇ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਲਈ ਗ੍ਰਾਂਟਸ 2020-2021 ਚ ਡਬਲ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਣਗੀਆਂ If you can't find a job this summer but want to contribute in the fight against COVID-19 we're going to make sure you have support too Students helping in the fight against COVID-19 this summer will soon be eligible for $1000 to $5000 through the new Canada Student Service Grant for volunteer hours. We're also going to be providing specific support for First Nations, Inuit and Métis Nation students. For graduate students and those conducting research, we're going to extend scholarships, fellowships and grants so your work can continue. And we are doubling student grants for low and middle income students for 2020-2021 taken together our government has a 9 billion dollar plan to help students and recent grads get through the next few months since we introduced this plan we've been working with the opposition parties on legislation that will get this help to young people as quickly as possible ਨਾਰਦਨ ਅਲਵਾਟਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੜ ਆਏ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਜਿਸ ਨਾਲ ਜਨ ਜੀਵਨ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਲੀ ਤੋਂ ਲੱਥ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਘਰਾਂ 'ਚ ਪਾਣੀ ਭਰ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਈ ਘਰ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਪਾਣੀ 'ਚ ਡੁੱਬੇ ਹੋਏ ਵੀ ਦਿਖਾਈ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਅਲਵਾਟਾ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਜੇਸਨ ਕੇਨੀ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਦਿਲ ਤੋੜਨ ਵਾਲਾ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਫੋਰਟ ਮਰੈਕਮਰੀ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ 4 ਸਾਲ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਵੀ ਕੁਦਰਤੀ ਆਫਤ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਿਕਾਰ ਹੋ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ 4 ਸਾਲ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਹੀ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਘਰ ਬਣਾਏ ਸਨ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਫਿਰ ਹੜਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਤਹਿਸ ਨਹਿਸ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਮੁਤਾਬਕ ਆਰਥਿਕ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਮਦਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਵੇਗੀ ਤੇ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਹਰ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਸਮਾਨ ਹੜਾ ਵਾਲੀ ਥਾਂ ਤੇ ਪੁੱਜਦਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ। And we flew up to Fort McMurray to get eyes on the flooding situation. Um it really is just a, a terrible devastating to see much of the central Fort McMurray flooded uh just 4 years after uh, the terrible fires of 2016. uh to imagine people who have just rebuilt their homes now struggling with the, those homes being flooded uh, and uh, the adversity of that community after 4 years of economic trials is just heartbreaking to once again confirm that the provincial government stands ready to provide any necessary assistance uh, we have deployed uh, to Fort McMurray from our emergency stocks additional uh, sandbags as well as uh uh dam equipment and uh pumps and uh, additional personnel jane jane ek bar mod to nazar maar lende ha headlines te mrs saka di mayor bonni crombi ne federal ate provincial sarkar nu likha patr ke hai commercial rent program di tarah rehashi rent program bhi lyaun sarkara ਕੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਮੇਅਰ ਪੈਟਰਿਕ ਬ੍ਰਾਊਨ ਨੇ ਸਟੇਟ ਆਫ ਐਮਰਜੈਂਸੀ ਦੀ ਉਲੰਘਣਾ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਅੰਕੜੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਈ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਰੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਨੋਟਿਸ ਤੇ ਕਈ ਵਿਰੋਧ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਕਾਰਵਾਈ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਟਰੂਡੋ ਦਾ ਐਲਾਨ ਕਿਹਾ ਕੋਵਿਡ-19 ਮਹਾਮਾਰੀ ਦੇ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਵਲੰਟੀਅਰ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਕਰੇਗੀ ਮਦਦ 1000 ਡਾਲਰ ਤੋਂ 5000 ਡਾਲਰ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾਵੇਗੀ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਸੋ ਖਬਰਾਂ ਤੇ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਸਿਲਸਿਲਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਮਾਪਤ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਦਿਓ ਇਜਾਜ਼ਤ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਣੇ ਰਹੋ ਅਗਲੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ